What's going on? How are you guys today? I'm going to show you what I've been eating for the past few weeks. And this is more indicative of what my diet has looked like for the past year or two. Uh, the day of eating we did a few weeks back with the brown rice, da, da, da. not 100% consistent, but let's start with the morning prep. So you guys saw several weeks ago, I was having the brown rice, but I would say like 98% of the time I've always had a white rice. It tastes better. I don't have any digestive issues with it. And some of you were also asking, hey, Frank, how come you don't rinse the rice? Because I don't have like well water or spring water here. So I have to use bottled water for everything. And I didn't really want to spend $2 every time I wanted to rinse my rice off, which is kind of crazy. But I mean, at, at this point with my health and all that type of stuff, to me, it's worth it. So just organic basmati rice. I don't really measure it. I just put in about that much. I do half a bottle of the Mountain Valley water. So when you rinse brown rice, it's mostly to clean it, but the white rice is, is hulled. So when they remove the outer shell, the starch can escape, and that's why the water is so cloudy right now. And traditionally, they'll do this like three, four, five, six times until the water's clear, but I do it once. Get some of the starch out, clean the rice. You know, I'm not gonna spend $10 rinsing my rice. Maybe I need to move out into the country and find a nice, Amish farm girl. So I'm just gonna pour off the liquid, most of the liquid. There might still be a little left in here, but it's not that big of a deal. So now we need the water to cook it with. Now I eyeball the amount of water as well, and it turns out okay. I believe the way they do it is like when you put your fingers in the water, the water is supposed to go up to like a certain part of your finger, but um, I know after making this a few times how much water I need kind of minimum. Now I just put in a little bit of salt, the Bolivian rose salt from Frankie's Strange Meat. And the oil, I prefer to add it afterwards so I don't excessively heat the oil in the pressure cooker. Now I prefer the rice on the stove top for the texture and the taste, but the Instant Pot is just so convenient because all I do, I press rice, I put it on less low pressure, which is eight minutes, turn off, keep warm, and I just put this back here and whether I come back two hours later or eight hours later I have the rice that's ready for me to eat so we have some organic cauliflower that I got at the dreaded Amazon owned Whole Foods now I've been having cauliflower for the past few weeks I like the taste I enjoy it it's a great source of fiber bulk for gut motility the only reason I would ever eat beans is if I'm too lazy or don't have cauliflower because it's just you know open up a can of beans throw it in the pan, heat it up, that's it. But I really don't like the taste of beans. Uh, so we have some organic cauliflower here. I got this at Whole Foods, the dreaded Amazon owned uh, demonic enterprise. We have some flextrose, organic glucose product, AKA dextrose from Frankie Strange Foods. We have some salt and some uh, liquid coconut oil, which is basically MCT oil, it's the same thing. And Whole Foods was selling these crispy cauliflower bites, which are delicious but they're fried in vegetable seed oils and I get a massive headache after I eat them. So I was like, okay, how can I replicate that? So uh, you, we have to cut the cauliflower up pretty tiny and then coat it in this. I cut it in half, in quarters, and then I'll take out like the core here in the center. So after it's quartered and the stem is cut out, I pull it apart with my hands just to kind of get the head separated. And then after, I have my head separated, I break them down into small pieces because you know cauliflower takes a while to cook, so uh, if we put this in the air fryer, which I just got, uh, we want it to be kind of tiny so it cooks evenly and quickly. You just don't want these giant thick pieces of stem that are gonna take you know, a long time for the heat to penetrate the inside. So after I have the cauliflower nicely portioned in a large mixing bowl, I'll take some salt, sprinkle a little bit on top, about three quarters of a scoop of the flextrose for this much cauliflower. What this does is it helps draw some moisture out as well as you know the sugar caramelizes on the outside when this cooks. So it gives it a really nice dark brown caramelized sweet coating from the air fryer. And I just put maybe eh, three tablespoons of oil for this much cauliflower. And the most important thing is that this sits for at least a few hours. I mean, if you put this in the air fryer now and cook it, it's still going to be pretty tasty and delicious. But when the salt seeps in, when the glucose draws some moisture out, when the oil seeps in, 
uh, these will brown up much nicer in the, in the air fryer. So we're just mixing this up to incorporate the oil, the salt, and the flextrose. So we have our rice in the Instant Pot cooking away, and I have the cauliflower here on top of my air fryer. When I come to eat later, what I'll do is I'll pop this in. I'll show you guys the time and temperature. Um, I haven't done a separate video on air fryers yet because uh, one of my EMF meters is broken. I'm assuming it's somewhat safe and somewhat healthy to use, but we'll definitely save that video for the future. So a bit later in the day, the rice is all done. I actually had a meal earlier, so uh, we took a bit of the rice out and already mixed some oil into it, but uh, we're gonna have to reheat this on the stove top for our second meal of the day. So for the cauliflower, I'm using an air fryer. This is a Philips XXL. And <laughs> This is already peeling off here. I've only had it for like two weeks, so not that great, but it's very, very convenient. You know, I don't have to watch it. I just open up the cooking basket. I take some of our cauliflower that has been macerating most of the day, a few handfuls. And I'm still kind of messing around with this recipe, but about 300 degrees for 18, 19 minutes seems to be good enough to cook the cauliflower through and get it nice and crisp on the outside without burning. So the main difference is I've been eating pork for the past two weeks or so. This is the Iberico pork tenderloin on Frankie's free range meat. Comes very nicely packaged and portioned. I'll usually have one of these per day and this is a leftover of the other half from earlier. So. You know, it's been sitting on the counter for like eight hours, so it doesn't look that great, but you guys can tell, you know, the, the pork is very dark colored. It's almost like beef in a sense uh, because of the quality of the pasture that the pigs were on in Spain. The most famous pork in the world. So we do have this available on Frankie's Range Meat. I don't think anyone else sells uh, this Iberico pork tenderloin, at least in the U.S., and it, it's usually on the expensive side, but it, it's the leanest cut of pork we have. Maybe I'll try to get some other leaner cuts that are a bit on the more affordable side. So I just put a little bit of coconut oil in the fry pan and then we'll put our salted pork. Now the main reason I switched to pork was because I was kind of craving it and I enjoy it a lot more than beef taste wise and it digests pretty well too. Uh, from a nutritional perspective, the B vitamin content has a slightly different profile, probably more favorable and the mineral content is a little different, slightly lower in iron. You know, most of the time I'll, I'll slice it up into like medallions and then saute those. Uh, if it's a little thinner like this and I'm lazy, sometimes I just throw in the pan like we have here. Now, depending on how I feel, what I want to eat, I might leave this mostly raw or I might kind of cook it all the way through. But I'm feeling a little more on the raw side today because we did have some pretty well done pork earlier. So we'll take some rice. A little bit of water in the pan with the rice. Sometimes for the first meal, if I get to the Instant Pot in time, uh, I don't have to heat the rice up in the pan again, so it saves a little bit of work. But this already has oil and salt added. Uh, the pork caramelization in the pan is gonna add a little bit of flavor to the rice, not too much. So we have our rice staying nice and hot in the fry pan. The pork is cooling off, while the cauliflower will be done in three minutes. And the other thing I've changed, you know, I went from eating beef to eating pork, I started diluting the water kefir, and if you guys are unfamiliar, water kefir is, in my opinion, the best probiotic. It is really just bacteria and B vitamins. You know, things like yogurt, dairy kefir have so many other components, calcium and allergens and things that can cause issues. I'm much more of a fan of this. And we have the water kefir grains as well on frankiesrangefoods.com. A combination of both of those in your diet will ensure that your gut is like 100%. So lately, because I don't want to go to the bathroom as much at night. You know, if, if I don't dilute this, it's not as hydrating because the water kefir we sell, it's so concentrated with the dark color, it means the bacteria content is much higher. Because I'm sure some of you guys will go to like a local farm and buy their water kefir or make it yourself. Our recipe is like four to five times as potent. So if you dilute our water kefir, it's still going to be way stronger than the regular stuff. So you want to dilute it to the point where you feel good, it's hydrating you, and you know you don't have sleeping issues. So keep in mind, this stuff is super potent. Might have to dilute it to be safe at first or just take a small amount of water kefir grains instead with the meal. So the 
cauliflower has two minutes left, but it really smells, so I want to check it. Yeah, that's done. Now, I haven't perfected this recipe yet, but you know, it's getting better. Very nice caramelization on the outside without any burning. Uh, so this is definitely too much rice for one meal, but my depth perception is not that great today. For this, I just shake the basket, pour it into the bowl, and there we go. Okay, did we have this in the last day of eating? My parents bought another uh, water dispenser, but they never listened to me on anything. So we have organic white rice, organic cauliflower, small amount of coconut oil and everything, our delicious Iberical pork tenderloin, which I will put some aged balsamic vinegar on it. So this is one of those like artisanal Italian products. I believe the DOP is called Madena, but this is Villa Monadori Aceto Balsamico. So this isn't like official aged balsamic of Madena, but um, this company does a pretty good job at replicating it. And it's, it's really, really delicious. I like it a lot on meat, but honestly, this stuff goes good on, the cauliflower goes good on everything. We have our diluted water kefir. I have, of course, my mastic gum. And uh, since this is the second meal of the day, I'll take one or two activated charcoal pills as well. Now, yesterday, I filmed 25 burger reviews. So I was, I was gonna quit the channel, I was gonna call it for my health, but uh, I don't know, something just decided, hey, just to do a few more shoots, maybe I'll drop dead and I won't have to do it anymore. Um, so despite going to fast food restaurants, McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's. The water kefir, charcoal, and masticum is why I feel okay and good right now. Because if I didn't have all this stuff, I would be, uh, would, would not be feeling good. We'd be laying in bed right now. So there's the pork guys, raw in the middle. Looks like beef. The rice is great too. And you know, when you have quality ingredients and you prepare them decently well, even just plain food is gonna be delicious. The cauliflower, it should be on 325, I think. And it could go a little longer, but it's still very good. Very good. If you guys can do the cauliflower accurately, it, it's so, so delicious in the air fryer. Now, I don't know if it's because Italians like pork so much, but 100% I'm confident in saying that this pork tenderloin, I enjoy the flavor of pork more than beef, like just pure meat perspective. So it would be nice if uh, there was more quality pork in the United States and we didn't have to import it from Spain. A little bit into the meal, I'm going to have maybe a teaspoon of masticum. So that's a decent amount, but this batch, the pebbles are a little larger and I've always been fine with this. Uh, but sometimes if there's like a really big pebble, I'll just take that aside and I'll just swallow the rest. So those tiny mastic pebbles are basically like little antimicrobial bombs that'll just sit in your stomach and make sure that, you know, nothing kind of gets out of check and they don't have to be processed by the liver. So it's minimally inflammatory. Yeah, I mean, this pork, you can really taste the nuttiness and the flavors of the pasture. Whereas a lot of the time, like beef tastes kind of like grassy or like hay. Some of you guys might be wondering, Frank, why the change of heart? Why'd you switch from beef to pork? And it's not just that I was craving it. I actually wanted to make sure that it would be safe for me to consume it with my liver damage. Uh, so I sent in some meat samples, beef, pork, chicken, venison, some other stuff to a bunch of different labs. I had it tested for certain nutrients and things I was looking for. And to me, pork, beef, venison are all pretty much on the safe side. Chicken is probably the worst for most people. So I would rank it venison, pork, beef, but to me, venison is just, I can't eat that stuff. It's way too strong. You know, for the carbs, I don't feel that great eating pasta. The potatoes are a bit high in potassium. Brown rice, I don't like that much either. Beans, I'm not a fan of, so for 
the sake of what I enjoy and what I feel good eating, the white rice plus cauliflower seems to be my favorite combo so far in these past few years. Well, that's enough for me. <laughs> that's probably like seven dollars worth of Iberico pork. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to save this pork for tomorrow, but you know, usually it's no good. So hopefully I can get the farm soon and I have a little extra food to give to the chickens after every dinner. For dessert, an organic honey crisp apple. And I like these and the Fuji apples, uh, but just to reiterate and go back to uh, those different meal components, uh, the pork is, you know, the base of animal protein. We need the B vitamins, we need the amino acids for our cell health, cholesterol, very, very vital nutrient to have in your diet consistently, choline, all super important for being a healthy human being. White rice is, you know, a clean, kind of calorically dense starch. It feeds your gut bacteria and it gives your body like a clean slate uh, for the liver to detox anything out of when it excretes the bile near the entrance of the small intestine. Cauliflower, same thing, except instead of being like a calorically dense source, it feeds different strains of bacteria that might want fiber and it also increases the gut motility because of that fiber and because it's a bit of a higher volume food. The water kefir, you guys know over and over again, it's replicating the gut microbiome of a healthy person with its probiotic content. Mastic gum, antimicrobial, mainly anti-H. pylori. We did a few videos on H. pylori last week. And then the apple is a little bit of fructose, a little bit of sugar. You know, you're giving your body different carbohydrate components so that it can utilize different enzymes and bacteria efficiently. It's very high in water, it's voluminous, it's great for gut motility. And uh, then we're gonna have the charcoal with the apple. And most people don't have to take this. I feel okay tonight. Uh, so I'm gonna take two charcoal capsules, mainly because of me doing those burger reviews yesterday, but normally just one is plenty. And, and this will help prevent some of those toxins that are excreted from the liver from being reabsorbed back into the digestive tract. I was doing the walnut butter with cashews in it, but honestly feel better without it. Walnut butter itself is very bitter. Macadamia nut butter is high in fat. You know, just, just adding more fat to the diet for the state of my liver right now, I just, I just feel better without it. Oh man, these are sweet. Oh, there's a lot of sweet and a lot of acid in this honey crisp. You know, I've been wanting to do a video on apples for a while now. And I think I might do a video next week on apples. But uh, it is very interesting that uh, they have so many different varieties. I remember last year I was trying some opal apples. Opal. Uh, they were kind of like a yellowish, light greenish tint had a very unique flavor, but all the variety of apples taste different. and A lot of them are pretty enjoyable. Now this is okay. If the apple is a little green, you probably don't want to eat it. It's going to give you some tummy troubles, but this, I'm literally puckering with how much malic acid is in this apple. It's good though. I like it. Did you guys know that one of the main components of semen is fructose. Maybe that's why all the raw tars love fruit so much. I am swishing my mouth with water kefir so that the bacteria can consume all of the food that is stuck between my teeth, if that makes any sense at all. So thank you guys for joining me despite me losing my mind more and more by the day. If you guys want to support me, you can go to frank check out all my businesses. We got the delicious Iberico pork on Frankie's Syringe Meat. We have Water Key for Frankie's Syringe Foods. Masticum is on organ supplements. I'm wearing my Wi-Fi shield and clothing, and I'm wearing my Frankie's Naturals deodorant as well. Outside of that, if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow.